Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. There's still quite a lot more for the Boeing 737 MAX to achieve before it can fly again. But what's important to know is that the aircraft is still progressing in being recertified. And with another weekly update for the jet, I bring more news surrounding the aircraft's return to the industry, which should hopefully be sooner rather than later. The focus today, though, is that the FAA has finally given Boeing the preliminary approval that was necessary for the various proposed fixes that the aircraft manufacturer had been working on for their 737 MAX series, something that was indeed long awaited. While the aircraft manufacturer was finally given the preliminary approval, on top of all this, Boeing were also given a lengthy list of things they still needed to fix slash adjust, or really just a summary. Now, this includes computer changes and overall reliability of the systems on the aircraft series. In addition, there's set to be a warning light that'll be installed in the cockpit of the 737 MAX. Now, this will be able to alert pilots of a malfunctioning sensor. All of this, however, is on top of the already existing MCAS problem, which was said to be at fault for the two fatal incidents that took place in 2018 and 2019 respectively, and eventually led to the worldwide grounding of the aircraft type. While these changes are being made and implemented still after this, technicians will need to thoroughly inspect the changes to ensure that the aircraft is fit and safe to fly in addition to make sure that all the things that they changed are working to the standard necessary to keep the aircraft in the sky, something that, as we know, is absolutely crucial. A major concern that many have had, and one that's evident in what the FAA has said, is that faulty sensor data could likely trigger the MCAS again, which would result likely in a situation that no pilot should have to go through. It's important now to understand how to disable the MCAS properly, and in addition, have no problem with the sensors and data moving forward being shown and read so that the MCAS doesn't get triggered at random points during a flight. There's ways though that the severity of the MCAS will be adjusted and that begins with Boeing working to make it less aggressive. So as to when it is triggered, it doesn't overpower the crew, which in two cases it now has, and push the nose of the aircraft down at a point where the pilots cannot recover the downward trajectory. Boeing and the FAA have spent so far countless hours, in fact thousands of hours, working on the 737 MAX with various simulated tests and more to come to this conclusion on what needs to be adjusted. The feedback coming directly from the FAA is a crucial part of getting the jet recertified for operations to begin with passengers and this is something we have not seen since March of 2019 and something a lot of people are looking for despite the current global outlook of the aviation industry and of course that global pandemic that we're all going through. Ultimately, and to conclude though, for the Boeing, the changes do not stop here, as talk has also surrounded them needing to make some potential adjustments to their 737NGs, of which they've already delivered thousands, and if you are unaware, it is the older type of the 737 family, the 737 MAX being the newest. However, if there was meant to be any changes to this aircraft program, given the age, the costs would actually be a lot higher than you would first imagine, as more work would go into fixing and finding the correct parts that are necessary. And this is something Boeing would likely want to avoid. However, if it's necessary, it is something they will conduct. What are your thoughts on some of the things I mentioned in today's video? I hope everything was as clear as possible for you all and you're all staying safe. I will see you all in the next video and thank you very much for the continued support.